And as we step into a new month, here's a couple of Blender add-ons that you probably missed. A couple of them have coupon code and some you can try before making a purchase. And with that said, let's get right into it. The Procedural Building Generator 2 from ECIAC is an amazing blender generator that allows you to generate buildings based off your mesh. This gives you options of creating your 3D models in real time and comes with a few asset tools that you can work with based off the asset browser. The version 2 is completely different from the Procedural Building Generator and has been rebuilt entirely from the ground up to actually give you some more options of what to play with. Currently, this ships with 9 different nodes that you can work with and the PCG has some experimental support for deforming meshes, meaning that you can add both close simulations and amateurs and bring your building to life. And in terms of building styles, this comes with some historic building styles and also some very basic building styles that you might want to consider playing with. This is currently available for those who want to get it and if you're thinking about getting the Procedural Building Generator 1, this is also available. The folks at Alltab, known for the amazing add-ons, have just announced the Alltab Illumina. This is a product showcase library that offers users from 50 all the way to 2000 pre-made setups that they can simply drag and drop, position the model in, and hit the render button. Every single thing that you need to get a perfect product rendering has been put together and this includes the lighting, the camera effect, and also the color variation. All presets have pre-made camera positions. In terms of color, you do have over 40 distinct color variants which provides over 2000 handcrafted options at your disposal. And the folks at Alltab are also looking at the future of creating even more stuff with this. And for those who are thinking about testing this out before purchasing, there is a free option that you can grab right here. Popularly known for hard surface and material add-ons, Chipwater have just announced Sliceit. It. Sliceit is an add-on that allows you to slice meshes in even increments across X, Y, and Z direction. This add-on simply bends on usual meshes like the text and complex object, and it is super easy to use. This currently exists within the end panel, and if you're thinking about a slicing tool that you can use in Blender, then Sliceit is currently available. Of course, you can find more stuff from Chipwater right here on this page, and if you would like to get this add-on totally for free, you might want to go over to the Discord where this currently resides for free and you can grab it and start playing with it. And if you've been thinking about creating flow maps, then the procedural flow map is currently available. This is made available by 3DC VFX and this creator is known for creating some interesting blender tools. Now with the procedural flow map, you can effortlessly generate procedural flow map for any texture, whether it's an image or even a procedural texture. At the same time, you can take complete control of the direction of the flow map by simply using curves to manipulate this and it is super easy for you to export these flow maps and use them in other DCC tools. And if you want to see more stuff from 3DC VFX, then you can find more here. Recently, they've also announced the procedural mesh fracture, which is currently available as well. And this is super interesting for those who like to simply fracture their models easily. And the same thing can be said for the procedural water simulator, the procedural dynamic, and the procedural fluid simulator. All of these are currently available right here on Blender Market. And if you're interested in creating some interesting procedural liquid, fluid, or even creating fractures or flow maps, then this is right here for you. Polyfoid has just recently announced and released Real Pixels. Real Pixels allows you to turn any image into a vintage screen and this is super easy to work with. At this point, this ships with 5 customizable presets which you can use to create that vintage look for your scenes. This is a highly customizable as it comes with a couple of controls that deals with pixel line, the scan line, scratchness, depth pixel, pixel flickering, and a whole lot more. And with this highly customizable CRT shader, you can now relieve the 90s and the golden era of television. So whether you want to drive images or videos with this, with real pixels, you have all it takes to bring that vintage look to your scene. Sardar Shadi has just released Blender Dynamic VFX Elemental Asset Pack. This pack is designed meticulously for Blender 3.6 and above, as this pack comes with a couple of element effects ranging from rolling flames, electrifying lightning, protective energy fields, to serene snowfall. This is fully customizable and ready for both EV and cycles, as this pack offers tweaks for colors, speed, noise, patterns, and much more. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced Blender user, and you're looking for a drag and drop easy to use advanced elemental effects, then Southern Shorty Blender Dynamic VFX got you covered. Currently, this is going for 25% off, and if you're thinking about testing this before using it, there is a free version that you can grab. Ruben has just announced Material Picker, which is a select and browse material add-on. This material picker is an intuitive tool for finding and editing materials in Blender, as it simply allows you to get access to any material in a single click within your viewport. And for sure, you can proceed to browse through all of your materials in your shader editor and work with some of the cool features that this comes with, which includes the material picker, which allows you to pick any material within your viewport, the material browser, which simply allows you to browse through all the materials that exist in your Blender, the material search, which is a quick and easy way for you to get access to materials within your workspace, 
space when working with the shader editor and a whole lot others like the geometry nodes, linked object and the instance object. So if you're thinking about a material tool that you can use to link, connect and also search through all of the materials that exist in your project, then this is one that you might want to consider taking a look at. Daniel has just updated the Launch Control AutoCAD rig. This launch complements working with Blender 3.6 and it opens doors of multiple possibilities that you can now do with Launch Control. You can now generate automatic skids in real time and you can also work easier and quicker to animate and get your vehicle moving with custom parts. You can also play with some simulation nodes and take your car scenes to the next level. This comes with 3 different cars that you can work with, 8 animation presets, 2 animation nodes which you can easily work with and 6 different types of physics that you can play with. Setting up this is super easy as you just need a simple button to start doing that and you can create multiple parts, get some very interesting animation going for yourself and add direct the physics of your vehicle just how you want it to be. So if you're looking for a car rig that you might want to use and get some very interesting quick rigs, automatic simulation and a lot more others, then you might want to consider the launch control auto car rig from Daniel. And if you're into animation and you love playing with the graph editor, then the graph pilot, which is an automatic easing add-on, is now available. This is simply a perfect solution for easing your keyframes in Blender to get you that professional quality motion that you've been looking for. This comes with a couple of features like easing keyframes, edit multiple keyframes, multiple object support, and interpolation preset. At this point, if you're thinking about working faster and you like to get that smooth motion, then you might want to consider checking this out, as this works for both transform, key shapes, and also geometry nodes. Alan Wyatt has released the Traditionalist tool back, so for the past 3 years he has been working on some very interesting tools that we've talked about on the channel and right now they are all here. From the Blender Life Painter Filter, to the Blender Illustration Shader, the Painter's Color Filter node, the Painterly Borders node, the Line Art Curve Modifier and the Pixel Pasto which is an image to paint in tool. Currently these are all packed together as a tool bag which you can get but then, if you would like to get these as individual tools, then you can proceed to grab them. We've already done a full video about the line add curve modifier, so just in case you'd like to check that out, links to this is going to be in the description. So if you'd like to get all of these tools and transform your images into traditional looking images which are painterly, then the traditionalist tool bag is a perfect fit. Mark Kingsnot has currently updated the Conform tool. This is one of the best add-ons that allows you to conform any object onto any surface. Regardless of the object that you have, you can conform this object onto any object and it is extremely brilliant the way Mark Kingsnot has worked this one out. He has also made some gradient effects that you can actually use to get this going and if you're looking for even more interesting add-ons that you can use, Mark Kingsnot gets you covered. As if you go over to Mark Kingsnot page, you'll find a lot of these things right here. Cloudscapes are a set of photorealistic 3D volumetric cloud library for Blender. Originally, this was specifically made for clouds, but with the release of version 2 from the folks at Deep Production, we now have 8 new categories that deals with fireworks and a whole lot others. And these 8 categories ranges from chimney, ground explosion, area explosion, polar light, fireballs, fire, tornado, and fireworks. And right now, if you're thinking about getting the clouds, the clouds now include 180 new clouds, and if you like to take this for a spin, there is a free version that you can grab. Additionally, if you like to get this right now, the folks at B Production are doing a percentage offer and if you like to save up on that, then you might want to consider grabbing this right now. And if you're into tune shading, then the Sakura Tune Shader add-on for Cycles and EV is available. This simply opens up a world of possibilities as this is the first shader collection in Blender that supports both Cycles GPU rendering and EV. This simply allows you to do some very interesting things like metallic lighting and point lighting which are basically the two variations that this comes with. And once you purchase this, you'll be getting a couple of interesting things that you can work with which includes 4 rim lights, customizable 10 outliners, 6 line art for shader editors, 12 additional lighting for the shaders, 3 different paint textures, 17 flares, 3 shader masks, a demo scene and 15 different shaders that you can explore. And with all the release notes, you can tell that this constantly gets updates. So just in case you're looking for a tune shader or you're looking for something else to spice up your rendering and get that manga feel, then you might want to consider checking out Saguka Tune Shader for Cycles and Eevee. 
Blender Bash has released a simple blend add-on. This allows you to bend your models towards any point so you've got lots of control and you can bend any model to any point at any point when working in Blender. Amod Colony recently announced the Cyber Muscles 3D Kit Bash with a pack of 27 base design that allows you to fiddle and get over 70 unique variations. This comes in Blender, OBJ, FBX, ZBrush IMM and ZTL files. So if you're into Cyber Muscles or Hard Surface Model and you're looking for Cyber Look muscles that you can use and fine-tune and get your model to be beefier, fierce and look extremely cool, then you might want to consider Diamond Colony Cyber Muscle 3D Kit Bash. JSLAV recently released the Simply Render Flow, which is a Blender add-on that enhances your rendering workflow by providing you a range of efficient features for managing your image renders. This simply enhances your render workflow and saves you valuable time by giving you all of the features and tools that you'll be needing to get started. So if you're thinking about coordinating that render and getting the best out of it, then you might want to consider the Simply Render Flow from JSLAV. And if you're in the market looking for futuristic objects, then you might want to see the futuristic kit, which is a thousand and one objects made available for you. This was primarily built to create scenes with the graphic daily the blog post.com, which is a platform where you can find tons of interesting design. So the creator decided to put this available on Blender Market so everyone can take advantage of this asset and start creating some impressive stuff with it. So if you're looking for some interesting kits that you can use, then you might want to consider checking these ones out. All of these models are made in Blender for Blender, so what you'll be getting are Blender files that you can use to explore and expand your sci-fi or your futuristic universe. And if you're into sculpting, Nicholas has released a couple more brushes and alphas that you can explore. The Concrete Damage brush is one of the cool ones that you can get, which is 20 different brushes that you can work with. They come with 15 unique damages and cracks, 5 surface damage, and their resolutions are 2K 16 bit. At the same time, if you like to take advantage of the Damage Makeup Bundle, which comes with 120 brushes, you can definitely get this as this saves you 20% off once you get it. Furthermore, if you're looking for VDMs, then you might want to consider checking out the VDMs that are here, but if if you're looking for even more VDMs, then you might want to go to VK Game Dev and check out all of the VDMs that they have. More so, the folks at VK Game Dev have also released the Stitches Fabric Brushes for Blender. This comes with 25 fabric stitches that you can use to beautify your clothing or your models in Blender. And of course, if you'd like to try this before you make a purchase, then you might want to consider taking a look at the free option that is available and start exploring with it. So, this is it. For those who would like to take a look at all of this and even more that we're going to put in the description, then links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one. Peace.